welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my mother, Shelly. Hello. My father, Gary. Hello. My husband, Jared. Hello. And my brother, Bryson. Hello. Today, we're going to be chit-chatting to you about our two most recent mm. videos, editing tips that came out on Wednesday, and the Hoop Barn live stream takedown party, which was super exciting. Ooh, yeah. They came out on Friday. Um, but before we get into that, a quick cheeky word from our sponsor, the My Little Homestead t-shirt shop. If you'd like to get a fun design on the t-shirt sweatshirt, handbag apron i know we've got all sorts of fun designs i've got uh, would you be mine jared's got i'm all gears uh bryce's got the bottle flower from our kitchen build if you remember dad's got um the ford i think it's a truck there going on vintage or i think it's called classic and then a a snort over there chevy ford gmc thing i think it's a chevy chevy Chevy, what did i call it ford Uh, yeah Yeah, renault oops sorry fords are so inferior probably made us in i probably that you just insulted like a huge (laughs) you have a Ford. You need to apologize. Don't <laughs> <be Ford. laughs> it is true. Uh, all right. Well, I don't like that I have a Ford. Whoa! Again, another shot fired yes. across the mouth. <laughs> You're welcome to send the hate mail all to him. <laughs> so, I don't even, little home don't even talk about the rest of us. Go, no. just, just go ahead and shout it out then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, before we get into your wonderful comments, questions, and suggestions, we had a lovely uh, box sent to us uh, by Gerald, the Dream Dragon, and he makes just fun little activity books and little stories, and they're the coolest thing. He sent these over for Azalea, and then also for us to have around the house for when uh, young kids come over every so often, yeah. you know? They're nice, wholesome, they're good nice, stuff. wholesome, yeah. just fun stuff for your kids to draw on, and we're not sponsored by him at all, but he sent this over, and we wanted to be sure to mention it because it's just too cool. The link in the description to his website, it's called www.thedreamdragon.com if that interests you at all. It's something fun. Oh, and I want to mention, too, his wife spent a ton of time uh, picking out it's like a little dream crystal one for each of us girls and they're just very beautiful so a special thank you to her for taking such care um, and picking out such beautiful little gems for it so dad what do we got over there well we have all kinds of things i want to start of course with tips 17 tips for video that's what that was the the wednesday video Shelly worked really hard on it and so anyway our first person said here you know reading the names is always the hardest part even though I read them before <laughs> you still get to it and you go hmm. don't want to offend anybody <laughs> don't want to offend anybody this. yeah <laughs> all the Ford people hate him I don't want to hate him I should speak so badly <laughs> <laughs> okay sure we're just Kidding. (laughs) Okay, Angel uh, Stanfield. Thank you, guys. Just what I needed. Just started a channel to help some people with some eating disorders, weight loss, and addictions. Only four videos in, but already feeling the need to ramp things up. This works out perfectly. Learning with my favorite YouTube family. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Hey, That's kind of what you were aiming to do, was to help people out with their videos. Yeah. Yeah. I think, too, that the way it came together, too, was the fact that you guys were going to be doing more editing so I had to kind of think about okay how am I going to tell the kids what the process is that I go through and that's kind of how the tips came about and so we started writing that down and we expanded a little bit actually it was going to be like a a bunch of tips and then we we narrowed it down to 17 which really it's really 18 because thank you Thomas Lindgren you noticed that there was actually information in there too he went through and you know he he hit everything I'm like yes I I read your comment I was like yes because he got he got all the things that we were really trying to communicate in Wednesday's show so speaking of Thomas Lindgren <laughs> and that very comment I think it's here a great introduction uh, I look forward to the next 17 weeks of tips a couple of those points you hit on make so much sense keep producing and you will get better I also love schedule once a week gives you a deadline Mm -hmm. i agree that if you really like a show a podcast a video a movie you can watch it break it down into what they did to make you like it since we see jared putting in his editing time did he have any uh pre-experience or was it the whole baptism by fire method uh it was mostly baptism by fire uh (laughs) i uh back in the back maybe 10 years ago when I was like 18 or something, I had some, a little experience doing sound editing for like uh, podcast type deals. But uh, beyond that, 
that was 10 years ago, so don't remember anything from that. Uh, yeah. But mostly baptism by fire. Oh, yeah. Was, and you're yeah. doing a great job. Oh, yeah, we I, we really enjoy the stuff that, that you two put out. It's, uh, it's been so a lot fun, of fun. He's, he's got a natural knack for it because as we, we edit together, and he's like, oh, before I can do it, he's like, oh, Brie, we should do that. I'm like, yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. And I and have to tell you. I miss, he gets. So like, I have to tell you, too, when um, Jared first came, when you first came and you were sitting behind me and I was going through the steps and showing you, Normally, what I do is I'm constantly looking behind me because my kids always fall asleep. We do, we, do. we fall asleep. And, and, so and, so bad. Bad. and, I, and I have. Asleep. But when I'm watching mom edit, I fall asleep. <laughs> and and so it's so like, I keep so looking back, and and not only is Jared awake the whole time, which I'm <laughs> flabbergasted at, he's inputting like he's like, oh, you could do this and you could do that, and I was like, yes, yes, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he your favorite now? Yeah. He I is my he favorite, is. as a matter of fact. Make sure of <laughs> too, so. uh, okay, we have this information. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have um, Ibreen um, Corvid Shular. Uh, fantastic! My daughter has just decided to start her first channel. Yay! Good luck so, to you. Yay. Good for you. Start. Good job. Jean McIntyre uh, <laughs> says, Hi! A big thank you. I have been waiting to do YouTube for many years now. After watching your lesson, have just got some editing software and I'm about ready to start. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Yours, Jean, the silly old bugger from the bush. <laughs> no, that's cute. <Aww. laughs> Bryce Byerly. Bryce has been around like forever. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much, Thank Bryce. You. He says here, I've been nagging Shelly in the comments for this for years. <laughs> <laughs> he did not disappoint. <laughs> Thank and that's you, just Bryce. the introduction. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Bryce. Yeah. Okay, and then I have to read um, Matt Evans Koch. He says, As the sun slowly set on the horizon, the lonely but stalwart hoop barn finally ended its reign <laughs> and settled into the dust. A new dawn will rise, and with it, a new edifice of creativity will be born. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Very good. Isn't that great? <laughs> and that is your transition. That. That's the transition into the hoop, hoop barn art. takedown. <laughs> good right. one. Yes, thank you very much, Matt Evans. I love it. That was I could just movie. see the guy that got the million dollar voice, you know, that it was uh, doing all those. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in a world. world. In a world. <laughs> <laughs> Buttery, so smooth voice. Yeah, or very nice. Like this. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can actually see, you know, I, you know oh, those sci fi movies that start and it's like, Shh! You know, that person was like, in a world, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, always the first program you ever make when you program is Hello World. Um, you could be like, Hello World, you know, like you do the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we can throw some comments here now from uh, from what happened with the uh, whole hoop barn teardown thing. Mm -hmm. so, this is a Tardis Mole. I missed the live show, but it was worth watching anyway. I remember when it collapsed under the snow. Yeah. <laughs> we do too. We, do. we remember that too. It's it's to see what in our <laughs> we so, it was such a shock when we walked out there and it was just. Just gone. Yeah. I think you had just we had just taken. We thought, oh, it's so pretty, all the snow up there. Yeah. And then yeah. we came back the next day and was like, <laughs> we're like, no, <laughs> less pretty, less pretty. <laughs> that's there. I would trade pretty for still standing. All right, Suzanne Adamson says here, how many layers of tarp did you have on the hoop barn? Can't wait to see the build. Very exciting. Five. How many layers did we have on there? I mean, I think we took some layers off mm -hmm. at one time and put more layers on. So, yeah. you know, instead of patching the hole, we just threw another tarp on it. <laughs> That's why we had all those strings hanging yeah. down. Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, we had three different types of, wasn't it three or four different types of string holding that thing together? Yeah. Bubble gum, some baling wire. It's it a, yeah, there was some wire and <clears throat> some of that, that wide strap was holding it at one time. Yeah. We we really yeah, did really. try not to build a shop. It was really all about well, how can I save this hoop barn just a little longer. I, I gotta say though that the best advice we had for um, for the hoop barn was your dad. Uh, he suggested he said that what we need to do is throw ropes over it because that's what kept it from being in the wind. And once we did that, um, despite the snow, the other, it kept it really um, probably together. So if we, I mean, we'll never do a hoop barn again, but if we were to do it, those straps are invaluable. Mm -hmm. One of the memories I have is having the, just off to the side of the hoop barn, kind of where that open area is, we had laid out all kinds of, of the 
of the billboards and we use this HH64 glue oh, yeah. or something like this. Yeah. And we would take and we just glued it and you would just like spread out the glue and you'd stick them together and it would like melt the tarps. It That's was so right. weird. It would melt them together and glue them. All right, we have a, a comment from Patreon watchers here. What's up, Lizzie? She says here, or he says, great to see. Sorry I missed the live stream. The site looks great. Ready for the fresh building. Really excited to hear about the detailed plans for the future. Uh, let the mm -hmm. adventure begin. <laughs> <laughs> we will be having a lot more detailed plans not today, of course, but uh, next Friday, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to get into that. We'll even have pictures, <laughs> not just talk about it. Oh, yeah. So it'll be it'll be fun to talk about and and some of the brainstorming and um, the way I look at things is that you shoot for the moon and then just pull things back to fit a budget, <laughs> and yeah. um, which meant uh, the you know seven story structure I had in my mind had to. <laughs> Come down to two. You're you a big know. dreamer, but seven stories. Yeah. Come on, with three elevators. <laughs> three elevators. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. What's up, Lizzie, for your comment. We appreciate it. <laughs> thank, uh, thank you yeah, for everyone uh, coming in and giving us yeah, comments and questions, comments suggestions. And oh, yeah. Super fun to, to chat with you. So, dude, we want to give a special thank you to our Patreon supporters for your financial support. We really appreciate you. If you are interested in giving a buck or two a month, all that really helps go towards what we're doing. Uh, so the link to that will be down in the description. So anyway, thank you so much for being a part of our family and, and doing all this with us. We cannot wait for another week of uh, the tips on Wednesday and then uh, the hoop barn breakdown of what we're going to be doing there in the workshop on Friday. So That's the fun part for me. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff coming. So anyway, thank you so much. We'll catch you on Wednesday. Bye. Bye.